read this. Uncle Joe, I'm very busy. <laughs> hey, look, Kate. This is my idea for promoting business for the hotel. I'm going to get Sam Drucker to put it in his store. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Uncle Joe, that's brilliant. You've outdone yourself. <laughs> Where'd she go? Where'd who go? Kate. Oh, you read this, will you? How do you like it? It's very nice, except I'm only a seven-time winner, not an eight. But you will be when you win again this year. Well, that's going to take some doing because I'm not entering a cake this year. You're not going to enter a cake? Kate, you've got to. It's a tradition. The Shady Rest won't be represented. Well, of course it will. Bobby Joe's going to be in the talent contest. Betty Joe is in charge of the Hootieville High Entry in the pet contest. And you are going to win every prize in the baseball throwing concession. That's all the more reason you should enter the cake competition. No, I made up my mind. I I'm too busy. Well, maybe you're right. It's time somebody else shared in the glory. With you out of the running this year, maybe Cora Watson will have a chance. Well, of course. She... Cora Watson? Yeah, might as well tear this up. Don't you dare! <laughs> After you've worked so hard on it. <laughs> It's taking her so long. Don't worry about Betty Jo. If she's late, there's a good reason for it. Yeah, Doug. You can't rush picking a pet for the fair. It's not like we were electing a congressman or something. Betty Jo won for us last year with the woodchuck. Hey, here she is now. Oh, great. Is that it? Is that our entry? Oh, where do you see it? It's a oh, surefire winner. I'll bet it's a porcupine. No, nah, porcupines aren't cute. It's a beaver. Well, what are we guessing for? Open the box. Yeah. Well... There's always next year. <laughs> We'd have a better chance if we entered the box. <laughs> I think he's adorable. He'll run away with first prize. Yeah, in the kitchen appliance division, you could enter him as a garbage disposal. <laughs> Don't listen to him, Everett. Everett? I considered William or even Albert. But look at him. From snout to tail, he's pure Everett. <laughs> Boy, you sure goofed this time, Betty Jo. Hooterville High School will be the laughing stock of the whole fair. I'll say we will. Pixley High has got a cute lamb, and Crabwell Corners Prep has got a baby calf, and we've got this. This is going to be the winner. In a pig's eye. <laughs> Please, if we enter this pig in the contest, the prestige of this committee will go down the drain. You're all wrong. And just to show you what I think of Everett's chances, if he doesn't win, I'll, I'll resign as shortstop for the Hooterville Hawks. I'll quit baseball forever. Gosh. Wow. Well, if she's that sure. I move that the committee give Betty Jo and Everett a vote of confidence. Second the motion. All those in favor say aye. Aye. <laughs> Love you. Betty Jo. Well, that's the bow off Bobby Joe's dress. Well, Everett needs it more than she does. At least she's got a dress. All Everett's got to wear is a pink bow. <laughs> <laughs> Mind you put a blue bow on him. After all, he's a boy. But pink matches his eyes. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah. <laughs> is that all you've got to say? How about yuck? <laughs> contest, you're supposed to look modest and dignified. Well, it's a good thing you're a soprano, because in that dress, they'd never guess you were a girl. Mom, now calm down, you two. I don't know what happens around here. Every time the county fair rolls around, this household's in an uproar. I don't know whether to call that a strike or not, Joe, because after all, you did hit something. <laughs> Who did this? Gee, Kate, it must have been a jet. The sonic boom busted it. I didn't hear any jet. You didn't? How about an earthquake? Did you hear that? Uncle Joe, I want this window fixed before I get back from Sam's store. 
But how about my pitching? Stop pitching and start puttying. <laughs> Devil's food cake. Raw. I uh, better have another pound of powdered sugar. Golden sponge cake. Sam, this is a cake baking contest, not a cake guessing contest. They could put flaming toothpicks under my fingernails, and I wouldn't tell. Especially if you didn't know. <laughs> okay, don't tell me. Oh, Sam, it isn't that I don't trust you. It's supposed to be a secret. That's all right. Don't tell me. Well, you could let it slip, and if one of the other ladies in the bacon contest found out, they could go me one better. Like if I made a seven-layer cake, they'd make an eight-layer cake. Don't explain. Just don't tell your oldest, best, most trusted friend who stuck with you through thick and thin, fair and foul... It's a pineapple upside-down cake. Sickness and health. Sam, I just told you, it's a pineapple upside-down cake. Yeah, I heard you. I just wanted you to know what a good friend I'd been. <laughs> I guess you need some pineapples. Yeah, two big ones. And uh, that was two pounds of cherries and a bunch of bananas. Sam, all I want is two big... Morning, ladies. Watermelon. <laughs> Bradley, whatever are you doing here? Oh, just ordering my ingredients for the bacon contest, same as you. <laughs> well, we don't want to rush it, Kate. We'll be glad to wait. Oh, thank you, girls. Uh, Sam, let's see now. I'll, um, I'll have some shredded coconut, uh, fudge... Licorice, half a pound of sardines, and some rubber cement. <laughs> That's to hold the cake together. Yeah? I'd like to see Mrs. Bradley. What about? A room. She's busy. Well, could you call her? Suppose your wife could sneak in the back and steal her recipe? <laughs> what are you talking about? Don't play innocent. Them two fake suitcases don't fool me. Look, I met Charlie Sumner and he recommended this place. Why, I don't know. Who's Charlie Sumner? He's with the Gradwell Novelty Company. What does he look like? He's a short, fat little man with the... Ow! Oh, see here, what... Get out! <laughs> don't come back with a mustache coat I'll recognize you. You out of your mind? No, but you must be. Trying to get through my security maze. Out, out, out. Wait till I see Charlie Sump. What's going on out here? I just saved your recipe. Fella tried to rent a room with the lame excuse that Charlie Sumner was a short, fat little guy. Well, he is. <laughs> well, this guy looked like a fella sneak out without paying his bill. <laughs> Flower. Baking powder. Ma, can I put this on Everett? Oh, sure. Wait a second. That's the bow off my good dress. Yeah, the one everybody says you look so pretty in. Oh, well. <laughs> if Everett wears it, then he'll look as pretty as you. <laughs> Maybe you'd like to enter me in the livestock contest. <laughs> oh, Mom, I didn't mean that. Skip it. Take the bow, take the bow. <laughs> Gee, thanks. <laughs> See, where was I? I don't remember if I put in the baking powder. Flour, a course of a cup of sugar, two teaspoons of baking powder, ah. a teaspoon of vanilla. Mom, I think my throat's getting sore. A quarter of a teaspoon of lemon juice. But, Mom, if my throat's sore, I won't be able to sing in the talent contest. Why don't you make yourself some hot lemonade, dear, huh? Good idea. Where's the lemon? <clears throat> in the icebox. Sugar? I have it right here. Where's the tea kettle? It's on the stove where it's been for the last ten years. <laughs> Are you sure you're going to be able to find your mouth by yourself? <laughs> I'll be back when the tea kettle whistles. I'm looking forward to it. I can't remember. I don't remember. I know I put in the vanilla. I don't remember if I put in the baking powder. <laughs> of a cup of sugar, two teaspoons of baking powder. Mom! Mom, come out here, quick! One pinch of Betty Jo. <laughs> one whistling tea kettle. <laughs> one nervous breakdown. <laughs> Tail or anything. 
pig's as sick as a dog. <laughs> no offense. You've just got to do something. Well, all I can do is try some of my homemade spring tonic on you. Come on. Come on, Everett. Open your mouth. Here, give me that. You can't talk to him that way. You've got to use psychology. Here. Open your mouth, you pig. <laughs> Uncle Joe, you're just making him worse. Pig always was a prima donna. Here, why don't you swallow a teaspoonful and show him how good it is? <laughs> why don't you swallow a teaspoonful and show him how good it is? <laughs> mm -hmm. uh -huh. Had a relapse. Everett, speak to me. If he could do that, he'd be in a talent contest. <laughs> it's amazing. He's well again. That pig's got the 24 second virus. He's got an idea. Bobby Joe. Bobby Joe, would you come down here, please? <laughs> oh, McDonald had a farm. E I E I O. Stop. <laughs> and on this farm he had a pig, E-I-E-I-O, with an orange point here, orange point there. Do you hear there that, Everett? She's everywhere. singing your song. <laughs> oh. I tell you, Kate, Bobby Joe's the laughing stock of Hooterville. And Pixley, too. And who, may I ask, spread the word that Bobby Joe was going to sing to Everett at the fair? Well, I didn't spread it. It just oozed out when it wasn't looking, kind of spread by itself. Well, there's no real damage done, and Bobby Joe isn't going to pay any attention to that silly gossip. Mom, on account of Everett, I'm the laughing stock of Hooterville. And Pixley, too. <laughs> now, you're not going to pay any attention to all that nonsense. I certainly am. Well, I wouldn't sing to Everett if he was the last pig on earth. Well, what's going to get him on his feet for the fair? Not me. That pig's got to find himself another soprano. <laughs> By the old mill stream. Not the river, but the stream. I first met you. Not me, but you. I so This is a quartet, not a quintet. You love me true. true. Not false, but true. You were 16. Yeah, sweet 16. No use, fellas. It just ain't working. That pig's tone deaf. Well, how about some bird calls? I'm great at that. Listen to this. What's that? A speckled pigeon. Sounds more like a dead one. <laughs> yeah, I got one. <laughs> That's a hummingbird. Right, right, right. How about this one? <laughs> All right, you bird brains, cut it out. <laughs> what do you think, Sam? I just don't know. I do. It's a blue-tailed mountain warbler. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, all right, all right. I, I just don't know about the pig. Yeah, the pig. Mother, it's degrading and humiliating. I'm not going to sing to that stupid pig. <laughs> I guess it is kind of embarrassing, but uh, it means so much to Betty Jo. Hi, Mom. Hi, Bobby Jo. Hi, honey. Well, it's all settled. Minnie's going to sing for Everett. Minnie? Minnie who? Minnie Cooper. She's got a beautiful voice. She'll sing to pigs or ostriches or people. She's got confidence. <laughs> Bobby Joe's got confidence. Well, sure I have. And I can sing better than your old Minnie Cooper. I know that, but you said you didn't want... Well, after all, I am your sister. I ought to get to sing to your pig. You mean you'll do it? 
Well, sure I will. <laughs> I never heard of Minnie Cooper. Me either. <laughs> hey, something's burning. My cake. <laughs> Contest. I wouldn't give up that easy, Kate. Tell them it's a new recipe. Well, sure. Barbecued cake. <laughs> Mom, you've got a whole hour before the fair opens. Why don't you bake another one? Well, I don't have enough ingredients. And I wouldn't have time to get to Sam's store and back. Just a second. What's all this in these bowls? False starts. Why don't you pull your false starts and take your chances? I couldn't do a thing like that. I'd be the laughing stock of Hooterville. And Pixley, too. Shake, Mom. That makes two of us. <laughs> What in heaven's name is that? It's known as a pineapple upside down high riser. <laughs> How on earth did you ever get it that big? Just to know in the right architect. Oh, my goodness, you know, I'm going to ask Sam. To... Well, <laughs> those false starts sure paid off. Yes, and I owe it all to Uncle Joe. You know, I never thought I'd hear myself saying those words. <laughs> oh, Mom, you can't lose. I'm so excited. It could mean a clean sweep for the Bradleys. Gosh. Something awful's happened. Look at the program. The pig judging and the talent contest are at the same time. Oh, Mom, how could they do such a thing to me and Everett? Well, I don't know, Betty Jo, but you can ask Bobby Joe to give up the talent contest. There goes our clean sweep. I'm sorry, Betty Jo, but I can't be in two places at once. Two places at once? That's it! <laughs> Katie, you got them bottles nailed to the table. Why don't you hit them once and find out? Well, you got it fixed some way so you don't have to give none of them cheap prizes away. Cheap? They're all imported items, each one handmade by skilled craftsmen. Give me some more balls. Uh, three for ten cents or six for a quarter? Give me a quarter's worth. In advance. Try it with your eyes closed this time. Maybe you'll get lucky. Uncle Joe! Uncle Joe! Go away. I was just about to unleash my corkscrew slider. Oh, let me take a turn. Oh, please. I can't wait. There's something up there I've got to win. All right, all right. I taught her everything she knows. You're lucky for her, she forgot it. <laughs> All right, Haiti, she won the grand prize. What would you like, Betty Jo? You're entitled to anything on the shelves you want. And here's your Cupid doll. Oh, well, I don't want a Cupid doll. I want that... How about a genuine replica of the Mayflower in full sail? No, I want that... Geronimo's horse? Hurry up, will you, Betty Jo? We haven't got much time. I'm trying to hurry. Geronimo himself? No. I want that. All right, ladies. My taste buds are all primed and rare to go. Kate, uh, I uh, think I'll start with yours. Oh. That sure is a beauty. Now stand back, everybody. This time I'm going to try a curve. If you want to hit anything, you better try a basketball. <laughs> <laughs> Kate, this sure looks delicious. Ball, ball. Somehow I get the feeling I still owe it to Uncle Joe. <laughs> Joe, I wouldn't be in your shoes for all the money in the world. These ain't shoes, they're wings. I'll be seeing. 
Yep, he threw it right over the stand. I still can't find it. That ball just vanished into thin air. Thin air isn't the word for it. Now, which way did he go? Oh, uh, that way. You know, if that thing you got in your hand didn't have pineapple all over it, uh, I'd swear it was my ball. <laughs> are waiting for thee. Sounds of the room. I hate to do this to you, Bobby Joe, but I'm a desperate man. Dull <laughs> by the moonlight have all passed away. Don't worry, Bobby Joe. I'll hand him off at the pass. Beautiful. <laughs> we... Okay, Everett. You're on. Bobby Joe at the talent contest. Where's she hiding? Right here, Mom. Where'd you get the tape recorder? I wanted it at the pitching booth. Ah, this is not a coincidence. That's where I lost the cake contest. Did you see Uncle Joe? Well, yeah, I went that way. Oh. <laughs> Mister, I'm a wanted man. Move over. Ain't enough room in here for two. Here's a dollar. You run into a lady named Kate Bradley, tell her you ain't seen a man named Joe Carson. <laughs> okay, but you Look, really we ain't got no time it. for small talk. Come on, out, 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 out. <laughs> She'll never find me here. <laughs> hey, what you doing? Just loosening up my pitching arm, Uncle Joe. <laughs> Please. <laughs> that water's cold, Kate. Oh, you'll get used to it. Anyway, it was almost a clean sweep. It's a shame about the cake, Mom. Yeah, I wish you could have won a trophy. Oh, don't be so bad. I won something even better than a trophy. What? A Cupid doll. <laughs> and once again, I owe it all to Uncle Joe. Don't I, Uncle Joe? A <laughs> spin! <laughs> Junction. This has been a Filmways presentation.